redstone. <laughs> hey all, this is Cake speaking to you from the top of the world, above the cloud layer. At the very height of my empire, which is uh, essentially just this tower. <laughs> See my storage room, my redstone current delivery thing that was supposed to hook in the mushroom farm but is not really needed anymore. My super long drop tube. And of course the very tip top of my scaffolding system. Today I'm going to be talking about a much, well, a way of making obsidian that is much quicker for most people not be quicker for me, therefore I'll only be using it this once, and I in fact deeply regret using it at all, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Alright, now that we're at the bottom here, you can see where I've been experimenting with this a bit already. The entire back wall in this case, unlike my normal scaffolding where only a row at a time, is going to be uh, water. Because we're doing this row by row instead of column by column, and that speeds stuff up. For those who don't know about the info obsidian bug, info obsidian? Info obsidian. I'm going to call it the redstone obsidian bug. When moving lava tries to turn into cobblestone in a square it will transform any red it will transform into obsidian instead if there's any redstone in that square notch knows about it he said he has no plans to fix it so it's not a bug it's a feature and if you don't use a lot of redstone i hope this is going to be really useful to you if you watch Lava travels, travel a little more, you can turn a whole bunch at a time into obsidian. If you're working with longer rows you have, may have to replace, but it's still relatively quick and easy for those that don't need the redstone for something else. In fact I've noticed a lot of people in their let's plays just completely ignore redstone because most people don't need a lot of it. I need a lot of it. I'm going to be praying to forgiveness for the redstone gods tonight and scrubbing my hands clean for even demonstrating this. But, uh... This is a nice, quicker way for most people, and even using the scaffolding system. Honestly, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Just to show you again, this time I'm going to place the lava right so that it uh, transforms the whole row. You build this, you just toss on more, you don't bother demolishing it, and you go to the next level. You take your lava, you toss it down. Oh, it's not lava, it's redstone. And because of this wonderful feature, <laughs> love how I'm picking fun at myself. The uh, redstone turns to obsidian. You can keep doing this all the way up, do as many as you like. Even testing this, I've finished up a couple of rows, which... Oh, my poor redstone! <laughs> but when you're done, you'll only have to deal with a column of dirt. This you don't have to replace, you don't need overly complicated systems like the other Infobsidian I've seen, just a falling curtain of water, and a little tiny dirt mold that you build up as you complete the levels. Myself, I will be sticking to what I know and I like and what doesn't use all my redstone, which is floating up in the waterfall, placing the block down. That scaffolding, that's the method I invented. This seems a little buggy to me, but 
Obsidian is hella hard to work with. And if you don't like using inventory editors, because they're kind of cheap, this is kind of the way to do it. If you want to use a scaffolding method, more power to you. But this will work for the non super large amounts of redstone using people. Oh, my poor, poor redstone. Alright, I'm going to show you guys one more thing. And then I'm going to knock off. Hopefully, I can keep this under 15 minutes. So that I don't have to split up my video for the YouTubes. At the bottom here, you'll notice, and this is a permanent feature in both scaffolding and others, I've built a little thing to catch the water. That's because I'm starting to work with some complicated redstone down here, and that helps. I even put a little spill thing on the other side, just in case it uh, hits the wall somehow. I know it's unlikely, but... Going up into here, you probably saw from above, but I have... Oops. But I have finished that nice big tree I was working on. The introduction of shears really helped, and I like how that looks. I've also finally finished the piston teeth I was talking about. Just iron blocks with some snow thrown in for texture. And I'm probably going to have it so I can turn off the lights in these. If anyone's interested in this, let me know. I can maybe try to post a tutorial if I have the time between some other things I'm working on. And if you like, thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends, write your congressman, track down Notch and tattoo it to his forehead forcibly. I don't care. Any will work for me. Alright, have a great one, guys. Bye!